Hello again, this is Mrs. Shoe Card here for another edition of Tucked In Tuesday. Tonight we're going to be reading a book called Ish by Peter H. Reynolds. Ish by Peter H. Reynolds. Raymond loved to draw. Anytime, anything, anywhere. One day, Raymond was drawing a vase of flowers. His brother Leon leaned over his shoulder. Leon burst out laughing. What is that? He asked. Raymond could not even answer. He just crumpled up the drawing and threw it across the room. Leon's laughter haunted Raymond. He kept trying to make his drawings look right, but they never did. After many months and many crumpled sheets of paper, Raymond put his pencil down. I'm done. Marisol, his sister, was watching him. What do you want? He snapped. I was watching you draw, she said. Raymond sneered. I'm not drawing. Go away. Marisol ran away, but not before picking up the crumpled sheet of paper. Hey, come back here with that. Raymond raced after Marisol up the hall and into her room. He was about to yell but fell silent when he saw his sister's walls. He stared at the crumpled gallery. This is one of my favorites, Marisol said, pointing. That was supposed to be a vase of flowers, Raymond said, but it doesn't look like one. Well, it looks like a vase-ish, she exclaimed. Vase? Ish, Raymond looked closer, and then he studied all the drawings on Marisol's walls and began to see them in a whole new way. They do look ish, he said. Raymond felt light and energized, thinking ishly allowed his ideas to flow freely. He began to draw what he felt, loose lines, quickly springing out without worry. Raymond once again drew and drew the world around him, making an ish drawing felt wonderful. He filled his journals, tree-ish, house-ish, boat-ish, afternoon-ish, fish-ish, sun-ish. Raymond realized he could draw ish feelings too. Peace-ish, silly-ish, Ish. His ish art inspired ish writing. He wasn't sure he was writing poems, but he knew they were poem ish. Ponder, pond, ponder, dream yonder, pond, pond, yond, yond, gleam, wander. One spring morning, Raymond had a wonderful feeling. It was a feeling that even ish words and ish drawings could not capture. He decided not to capture it. Instead, he simply savored it. And Raymond lived ishfully ever after. If you like that book, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And leave me a comment. I'm always willing to read any book that you might be interested in. So you can leave me a comment on what suggestions you might have for a book for me to read. And also, um, I'd like you to leave me a comment for something that you think you can do good-ish. All right, it is time for bed. Good night. Sleep tight. Sweet dreams.